So today we're going to be doing some free activities in the Waitomo area to a waterfall and also a natural bridge. When you're a backpacker, you need to work on your budget and you need to kind of alternate a little bit between free and paid activities. We've been advised by our host at Juno Hostel, Dave, to go down to the Teanga Road and make our way to a waterfall and also a natural bridge. So we're just like driving and eating, but at the same time we get a really awesome view, classic New Zealand scene. It has been raining a lot lately, so I really hope that the Maricopa Falls are going to be really big and really gigantic, so finger crossed. We finally arrived at the Maricopa Falls and it doesn't rain that much anymore, so I'm kind of like, oh yeah, we're going to have a kind of nice little walk and everything. And it's just about a 15 minute walk through the forest to get down to the waterfall lookout. And this waterfall is often described as one of New Zealand's most beautiful, like, you know, amazing waterfalls to look at. It's just so beautiful and relaxing and stunning. But when we get there, this bitch is not relaxing. This is one fierce waterfall. This is just an extreme waterfall viewing session we're having right here. It's pretty intense. You can't see anything through the camera lenses, but that was a fierce waterfall. That was crazy. So after taking a few pictures and really, you know, taking about 15 minutes to embrace the falls and just look at them, we head back to our juicy camper. Laura, how was the Maricopa Falls? Very wet. <laughs> I can't even see out my glasses, hardly, at the moment. And look how shiny is my jacket. <laughs> this is the wettest I have been walking to a waterfall. We rush back up the hiking track, get back in the juicy camper van, do a U-turn, and we are making our way now to Mangapohui Natural Bridge. Straight away, we are like in awe of this place. It's such a cool little spot. Huge cliff faces on either side, and there's a stream underneath, and we're just hugging the wall on a boardwalk that's been made for this walk. There's like vegetation growing on the side of the rocks. There's like swing bridges to go like across the river every so often. It's a, a, like a very short walk, but we're just like, wow, wow. Like every two seconds in New Zealand, we're just like, wow, wow, wow. Oh my God. So this is just another one of those places that is just like a wow moment. Then you realize you're not inside a cave. You're kind of like, yeah, inside this natural bridge. It's, it's, a, it's a massive path of land. It's, it's an arc. Basically, it's a big arch. It's just a way they're cutting it. It's an arch. And there's uh, some steps going up along the side of it where you can get some more lookout. So we walk up there and have a, an amazing view from up there. It's like another world, this place. Again, like the whole of Waitomo seems to be. It's very otherworldly um, with all the unusual rock formations and things. And you kind of think like, I can't believe this exists on planet Earth. It's really grand in it. It's very hard to describe the sheer size of this natural bridge. And I think it's going to be really hard for you to feel the size of it while, while watching the videos. It was raining a lot, so the sky wasn't the most pleasant for videos. So it, it's a little bit dark. But I really hope you can see the size of the bridge. It's quite a sight. While we're under the arch, it starts to rain again. And, but this cat creates quite an eerie sort of vibe to the place. There's like a fog hanging over the, the forest in the background and it makes it all very atmospheric. So even if it's a shit day, I would say to anyone, just go on a hike anyway, because you're gonna find a, like a view that not many people even get to see. It's like a whole new atmosphere to the forest. So go for a walk on a rainy day. You might enjoy it. We sort of stay there until all the daylight is gone, actually, because it's such a cool little place. Also, this arch was protecting us from the rain, which has been drenching us for the last two hours. So I'm quite happy about that. We take the drive back 
to Waitomo, but we also need to go get some groceries from Countdown Supermarket. And we have to say, there's quite a few bargains in there. Thank you. What are you handing me, Laura? Poison. What? <laughs> so you find me shut up. No one wants to hear about your stupid New Zealand road trip. Isn't she lovely?